Hi guys and welcome back. This will be the last part of my, me altering this um, box last chest because um, it's quite quite a large box so I'll probably uh, call it a chest and um, it's come out uh, really nicely and I haven't um, finished embellishing it. I've just uh, painted it, adhered all the designer paper onto it and I've much podged everything so it's all really strong and sturdy and it's all dried and I'm really happy with the way that it's come out. Um, I haven't embellished it uh, at all, I've just adhered the designer paper and that's pretty much what I've done to this box. As I plan on making a mini album to go down here as it's got a, a, a really nice shelf down here. Um, it didn't come with uh, another drawer down here, it came with three little drawers up here and just one larger one here and down here has some room so uh, as I was planning on making a mini album to go with um, Oh, I mean a mini album out of the Le Romantic paper. It's going to coordinate really nicely with this particular chest. So the two of them will look wonderful together. So I plan on uh, making the mini album first and then see how that goes. I will embellish this accordingly. So I'm just going to show you roughly what I have done so far. So in the previous vids, I've just mentioned that I've mod podge um, this onto the painted background and I've uh, painted a couple of layers of different colour paint as well as the gold paint and then on the, I went on to this particular side and uh, once I painted around the uh, the outline here went over with the gold and then uh, Mod Podge the vintage music notes that I found at the back here and then uh, Mod Podge this particular part, uh, I've torn on the edges, used vintage photos on them and then uh, stuck a bit of lace here also just with Mod Podge, not with glue or anything, all with Mod Podge and then um, just did a slit down here and then just rolled the edges and uh, I like that effect a lot and I haven't, that's my first um, try on this particular effect and it's actually really good, I'm really happy with how, how that came out and down here I've just randomly much podge uh, a, a lot of the, um, the the pictures from the um, designer paper uh, onto this particular part and just staggered them across like this and I'm really happy how that's come out and it's all really strong and sturdy because it's all been much podged down not just glued so really strong there and on on the front here I did a tutorial on how I got to this particular part. Uh, all throughout the box, everything's Mod Podge on exactly the same, exactly the same as how I did this particular part here. So um, because I don't have a tripod, I didn't do any, uh, you know, tutorials on how I did all of it. But um, uh, all the techniques that I applied, you know, throughout here would be exactly the same as how I did here, uh, like the like how I hear uh, the vintage music notes and all this would be exactly the same as I, you know, adhere it to here also, and just turn the edges down and it's all really sturdy. Uh, it's not gonna, you know, uh, bend or any anything soon because it's all much podged on, so it's really sturdy there. And I've added lace under here also, and lace under here. And under here also because that's the center I just left it as is and pop the lace on the corners and everything's mod podge down so really 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 sturdy there all this is scratch proof or oh, at least scratch proof I hope <laughs> but anyways I've done the inside also that's the inside of that one to coordinate with up here and then uh, on this particular one I did um, uh, the vintage lady, I much podge her inside here. She's part of the um, paper also. That's the first drawer. The second drawer, much podge the two pictures together after I've uh, much podge the background there. And the third, the third one there. As you can see, beautiful images. And then on this particular side, um, very similar technique as the other side because I want it to, uh, to match. So sorry guys for going off the screen there. Uh, Mod Podge, uh, um, the, uh, the vintage music note, uh, this particular um, stripey paper, just slid down the sides here and then just roll this over. Uh, did a smaller uh, slit here and then roll this over also. Um, 
and then I went on to randomly modge podging uh, various images onto here just to give it a, a you know uh, a bit of a collage looking there and I'm really super happy with how that came out it's looking absolutely gorgeous and the lace is really strong all modge podge down and then the back is just pretty much plain because it will be facing a wall once I display this in my living room so I didn't do much to it but it's all modge podge and really sturdy so it has even a large room for big photo there and I can embellish it furthermore also if I want it to later on uh, if I do decide to move it to a different section of the room but uh, where it's when I'm planning on having it it will be facing the wall so that's pretty much it so and as I mentioned I won't be embellishing it anymore until I have made my mini album so I know how to coordinate the two together to make them um, yeah go together so uh, that's pretty much it guys and um, I spent all day just on this box and uh, with, our, with us as crafters I'm sure that we have to have very um, patient husbands because I pretty much didn't do anything apart from cook a bit of lunch and a bit of dinner and that's pretty much it. I spent all my time on this particular box and I'm super happy on how, how it's come out and uh, thanks to my husband for helping me uh, record part of the tutorial. So hopefully I'll see you guys soon and I'll be showcasing uh, the finished uh, box with the mini album. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.